Welcome back to Retro Rewire. My name is JJ. We are back for another In the Hunt at Fujioka Gunma at the Atu, supported by Surugaya. A little bit of a mouthful there. But let's go ahead and pick up where we left off. And as you can see, we're going to start here. And you're going to see a lot of spacing in between, the, in between the games. And I think that's going to be a pretty common sight nowadays. But that's not to say that there's not going to be any quality titles. As you can see here, we have a number of the Mario games for the, for the Game Boy Advance. And then we're definitely going to get to the Neo Geo stuff that we saw in the intro. But here's one that I'm not really familiar with. Now this features the Shy Guys and Yoshi as well as a few other characters. And it looks like it's a few mini games. Could be interesting. We have Super Mario 64 featuring Rumble support for $450. That's definitely not a bad price. And I believe that's Shiren the Wanderer 2. We got Zelda for $3,000 and Goemon for $1580. And some of these games, you know, not too bad of a price, but you will see little tags. So there could be something missing, a little bit of damage. Like this here, we have a uh, 1080 um, by Nintendo, I believe. And that's coming in at 1000 yen. And I hear great things about that uh, snowboarding racing game. We got Mario Story coming in at 980. And then we got some Wario Land action here. This is a great game. And this one was only uh, 980 yen and it comes with the box. Not too bad there. Here we have uh, Double Dragon for 4,400. We got some Kirby action here. And then we have a Game Gear game kind of mixed in with everything else. Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog could be a good one. It's been a long time since I played the Game Gear. But let's go ahead and keep making our way down the aisle up above. They're going to have quite a bit of hardware like this Xbox featuring Shin Megami uh, 9 there, the deluxe pack. And then we have a Virtua Stick coming in at 79.80, the Virtua Gun, a Dreamcast, and then down the way we have a Racing Wheel for the Sega Saturn and the Dreamcast. And then we have Metal Wolf Chaos, 9,200 yen, uh, Capcom vs. SNK 2, Capcom Classics Collection for 6,500 yen, that was the North American uh, version. I think you could find that definitely cheaper, but here we have Digimon for the Wonder Swan. Definitely want to get a Wonder Swan sometime soon, as I definitely um, would love to play Makaimura for Wonder Swan. And then here, look at this. This is kind of like the little uh, advertising, and it shows like the purchasing, uh, the prices that they're paying for these types of games. But I think if you sell it by other means, you'll definitely uh, score a lot better deal. But nonetheless, if you're in a pinch for cash, that's definitely an option. But here we go with a few three, uh, 3DO titles. I think I'm pretty much set with my with my 3DO collecting. But we have a copy of Val The Legend of Valkyrie just kind of hiding out. So let's take a peek at these Mega CD games. And this one here, Nobunaga and the Ninja Force. 4,700 yen. That game was actually in my uh, junk Mega CD when I bought it. And I finally pried out the, the drive. That, that's the game that was in there, as well as Silphied. And actually, one of those junk Mega CD games had two games in one. Somebody just kind of kept uh, jamming games in there, which was, uh, I guess, uh, pretty lucky on my part. But here we go. We got Sega Classics Arcade Collection for 1,300 yen. Not too bad of a price. And then here we go. We got the Neo Geo action, but we're going to start with the PC engine up above. And definitely feel free to pause as I'm just going to pu pull out a couple games. But we have uh, Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition for 1280 Now that is missing the manual. Otherwise, I would have picked it up. And then we have Gradius 2 for 5,000 yen. I hear, I hear some pretty good things about this one, especially for those, uh, those story cutscenes. But it probably has some pretty good uh, audio there as, as it does have the Roland sound space. And then we have some PCFX action here. But, you know, just kind of pulling these out. Uh, it's library definitely does not get my attention as it looks like it's a lot of visual novel type of stuff. Not really into those types of games, but if you are, PC effects could be something to look into. We got the Neo Geo Pocket Color here. Now, I picked that one up, that Capcom vs. SNK, and it's a great game. This one was very tempting, Samurai Spirits, but I'm going to opt for the sequel. And then we have the card battle. This is uh, the Capcom version. And the cool thing about those Neo Geo Pocket games, if you set the system language to English, a lot of the games just boot up in English. But let's make our way down the Neo Geo CD titles. And I earlier, there was a copy of Art of Fighting 3 for 800 yen. And some of the pricing on these isn't too bad, especially for... I don't want to say shovelware because these are some quality titles, but I, I want to say like... I would call these like uh, the entry level titles. But we have King of Fighters 98 for 2,000 yen. I hear that one has some pretty lengthy load times, but still definitely far, far cheaper than the AES equivalent. 
600 yen for Samurai Spirits 2, and this one has the Obi card. And then Part 3, which is my favorite, for 870. Not too bad of a price there. We have RPG for 2,800. Sonic Wings 3 for 7,900. And then we got the special entertainment disc there. Art of Fighting 3. Now this one, 5,800 yen down the way. They had another one for 800 yen. So a little bit of a, well, quite a bit of a huge uh, difference in pricing there. We got some Fighters History there. Power Strike 2. What else do we have here? Oh, I used to have that game. Forget the name, but uh, Newcomers there. Real About 2. We got Special. What else do we have? Now this one has uh, Fuma from World Heroes. And I wonder if that one's any good. We got another special disc there. Some soccer game. What else? Some Sonic Wings 2. Now, I'm not really the biggest fan of the Sonic Wings series, but if you're into shooters and you want, you have a Neo Geo, that's definitely uh, something to look into. But we got a couple copies of The Last Blade. What else do we have? Baseball 2020. World Heroes Perfect. That's a great one. And then I believe that one's World Heroes something. But here we have two jet for 9,500 yen. And then we have uh, World Heroes 2 for 49.80 with 30% off, but it is missing the manual there. But still, that's not too bad of a price. Uh, we have Art of Fighting 2 for 2,980 yen. And then part one is gonna be more expensive, which is usually the case for 12.80. We got Baseball Stars 2 for 33,800 at 20% off. I wonder why. And then we have a sun-faded copy of The King of Monsters 2. That one looks like it's pretty fun, though. Then we have Fatal Fury 2. We got Fatal Fury Special, which is, I would say this is the one to get for 4,400 yen. We got Samurai Spirits 2 for 2,480. And then King of Fighters 94. Look at the price of this. 3,480 yen. That's definitely the lowest that I've seen this game in the last like couple of years. Typically, that one's like 8,000 or more depending on condition we have a uh, vanilla spirits there for 2780 kof 97 for 21,000, and then another art of fighting for 14,800 yen up above we have some 32x titles what is this uh cyber brawl 4,700, and then uh space harrier for 4,580 yen and then here we go with our mega drive titles and a little bit bare bones here but that's i guess uh doesn't really come at a surprise but they do have the sonic games for 2600 yen and then part two coming in at 1980 and then they they also have land stalker this one seems to be a lot more common than i realize as i've been seeing it quite a bit recently we have space harrier 2 with its cool cover tatsujin for 6700 yen that's another one that has held its value but it is common and then fighting master i haven't seen this one before and um, I wonder if it's any good. We have Echo the Dolphin 2 for 3,200 yen. The cover is not as cool as the, as the original. And then we got some NBA Pro action there with old Pippin on the cover. NBA, NBA Pro Basketball. We got a couple of, or a few loose cards. We got Shinobi. And then I'll pull out Shadow Dancer here coming in at 3,200 yen. I still have my copy of this, but I have the, the North American release. What else do we have? Street Fighter 2 Plus Champion Edition coming in at 1,500 yen. And then we have Aladdin for 2,400 yen. And then here we have some old school Sega games. And look at the condition on some of these. Now, a lot of this stuff is like mid 80s. And I want to say like the, the, like the graphic design and the layout still kind of holds up. Not too bad there. And this is, I think a lot of this stuff is like uh, mid 80s vintage, like 85. 86 haven't have never actually uh played uh these older sega games i wonder if they're i wonder if they're any good but you know if i'm being honest they don't really uh they don't really catch my attention <laughs> but it is interesting to see the carts i mean look at this bad boy this zippy race it's so thick and then it has a little bit of an indentation so it's kind of cool to handle those but here we have our game gear games we got sonic and tails 2 uh, what is this in the in the West? Like Double Trouble or something? And then we have uh, Machin X for the Dreamcast. I beat this game many years ago, and it was so-so. I believe it's in the same universe as uh, Shin Megami Tensei. And then we have Runecaster. First time seeing this one. Not really familiar with it, but uh, here we have a, a visual novel. Looks like it's adult rated or themed. What else do we have? Mr. Driller for 1,300 yen. I have the PlayStation 1 version. And I can't imagine the Dreamcast one being that much better. But here we have Rival Schools. 
definitely want to pick that one up. That's one of the few uh, fighting games left for the Dreamcast that I need. And then Code Veronica, 850. Always nice to see Code Veronica. And looks like they're all coming in at that 850 price. And then here we have a sim game. And it looks like you play the role of a bus driver. This one could be fun, especially if, you, if you're if you practicing or you know Japanese. We have Sonic Adventure for 800 yen. And you're going to notice that the, the Dreamcast section was fairly small. But there is a lot of quality titles. Then there's Evolution. I used to want that game way back in the day. I think I eventually got it and it was so-so. But we have Shinmu 1 and 2. With 2 coming in at 1,400 yen. We have JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. 5,000 900 yen and that one includes part one or two both both of the fighting games but we have third strike and look at this zero three for 1200 not a bad price at all we got vampire chronicle we got some ferrari uh f355 challenge so see a lot of, a lot of good stuff here and capcom versus snk2 that one's slowly rising in price and then up above with the saturn marvel superheroes versus street fighter then Marvel Super Heroes. It's just more and more fighting games. A lot of great stuff here. And they have another copy for 6,500 yen. And then we'll pull out Magic Knight. Well, first of all, look this. Magic Carpet for 1,300 yen now. It's been a long, long time since I've seen this game. And I believe this one was released in North America. And it could be an on-rails type of shooter type of game. This was also available on the PS1. But here's Magic Knight Ray Earth. 1,300 yen. <laughs> Definitely a bit dirty and sun-faded. Uh, at least the slip cover. And then we have Langrizer with its ventricular cover for 900 yen. A few copies of that. Then we have Layer Section. Looks like they have three copies, 4,200. Have no idea what that could be, but it's coming in at 1,600. A few uh, role playing games there Black Matrix. This is like another visual novel type of uh, game. I'm assuming, anyways. What was, and then we have Baku Baku. I definitely want to pick up a copy, but I would have picked this one up, but no Obi card. But the price isn't too bad there for 700 yen. That is a really fun one. And then we have Biohazard for 1,400, Panzer Dragoon 2 for 2,400, and then the original for the same price. Awesome artwork there. Puzzle Bobble 2X for 1,200. I have the, the vanilla part two on the PS1. We have Dragon Force 2. Kind of a cool cover, that one. And then we have Macross for 1,500 yen. That's a great shooter. And then we have another Konami puzzle game. Haven't seen this one before. Don't know too much about it. We have Darius Gaiden for 2,700. This is a great shooter. We have Sonic Racing for 3,900 yen. And then Sonic Jam for 4,200. A lot of good stuff here. And then here's like another visual novel game for 1,400, another adult looking game. Well, it could be, not really sure. And then we have uh, a Puzzle Fighter 2X. This one was a little bit tempting. And then we have this uh, Data East Fighter, and then we have Snatcher for 3,300, and then some more Capcom goodness with Street Fighter Collection. And then we have Alpha or Zero for 780, and then part two, coming in at 1,200 yen. And then with Samurai Showdown 4 for 6,100 yen. That does include the cart. And then we have what Cyberbots, Full Full Metal Madness. It's a great fighter. Cyberdoll. I believe this one has uh, limited English language options. Then we have The Legend of Oasis. So another small section, but you know, I want to say the selection here is definitely worthy. And then what is this? Pretty Fighter X. Been a long time since I've seen that one. And then uh, Marvel X-Men versus uh, Street Fighter there. And then Children of the Atom. So it just keeps going and going. And then what is this? Cube Battler, the story of Shoal. <laughs> First time seeing this one, but it looks like it could be some kind of a uh, puzzle type of game. Could be good. Who knows? But here we go with our Famicom titles and our Super Famicom. And that's where we'll, I guess, uh, pick up. And again, a kind of a smaller section compared to other Surugayas, like the one in Omiya, the one in Tachikawa. But definitely a lot of heavy hitters here, like this. We got Rockman and Forte, 2,400 yen. Definitely a far lower price than what you see in Tokyo. And then we have uh, Spike McFang, Adventure Island, uh, Teenage, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Mutant Warrior. That's the 2D fighter. We got some Pac-Man action here. And Rock and Roll Racing for 1,400 yen. I used to rent this game all the time, and it has awesome music. And then Poppin' Twin B for, what was that, like 700, 800 yen? 
here we go with the the boxed games and again not a not a large section but i ended up picking a r type and uh super r type in this section and then we got a couple of mario paint games and i'll just pull a few of these out beginning with batman returns now this is my first the first time for me to see like the back side of this definitely want to pick this one up but i'm probably gonna opt for just like a loose cart we got rockman x for what was that 29.80 a little bit sun faded that and then front mission gun hazard now this one looks like it's a uh, like a triple a title for the for the super famicom look at the visuals on that bad boy then we have yu yu hawk show part two they also had part one looks like it's a fighting game action stuff not really sure what this one is looks like it's a platforming puzzle type of game and then goem on three for 2980 I played that one many years ago and then I this is the game that I picked up for 2480 yen it was complete a little bit banged up but that's okay and we have a uh, Darius twin I was thinking about that one and then we have Alice in Wonderland this is like a puzzle type of mini game type of thing it would have been cool if that was an adventure game and then we have Super Mario Bros 3 for the Famicom and the Famicom, yeah, not too many box games, not, nowhere near as many as the Super Famicom. But then we have this little froggy something, and I believe this guy's a part of like the Hello Kitty universe, which makes me think like, how old is Hello Kitty? I always thought that was like late '90s, but if it's on the Famicom, it could be like early '90s, late '80s. And then we have uh, uh, Zelda 2, The Legend of Zelda 2, coming in at 3,800 yen, and I believe that includes stickers, at least if it's complete. And then Kid Icarus, this is one that I was thinking about, for 3,200 yen. And we have some Shadow Gate by Kemco, and then uh, Salamander for 2,900 yen. Definitely a cool looking cart. And then DuckTales for 1,300 next to Wario's Woods for 400 yen. Not too bad, that. And then we have this game, it looks like a, some kind of like a adventure detective type of game next to this other one which uh could be a platformer and then here we go let's go ahead up hit up this end cap a few handheld uh games here and let's take a look at the game gear action we got sonic drift for 600 yen including the manual i should have picked that one up i'm slowly buying game gear games for the inevitable day that i get one and then we have the wonder swan stuff i do like looking here as maybe one day i'll see uh, a loose uh cart of makai Mura. That's pretty much the only game that I want for it. And then the Neo Geo Pocket. Now, I picked one of these uh, pockets up at the junk section at a Surugaya in Akihabara for 6,000 yen. And my collection is at two at the moment. And But I, I think every game that I get for the pocket, which isn't many that I want, I definitely want them complete in box. But this one was tempting. This Samurai Spirits 2 for 2,200 yen. The fighting games on the pocket are amazing. Highly recommended, especially if you're into fighting games. Which for me, that could be my favorite genre out of all of them. What else do we have here? Some PC Engine. We got some loose Hue cards. And not too bad of a selection here. What do we have? R-Type 2 for 1,600 yen. At the moment, I actually don't have any loose uh, Hue card games. But sometimes the pricing on these make it tempting. Like, look at this. We have Bonk for 2,300 and 2200 for bonk 2 we have bomberman 94 we got packland and then another copy of our type 2 for 1280 yen and then here we have an assortment of what do we have virtual boy and disc system games we got some mario golf for 850 and i actually do like the design of the virtual boy carts and it's i've never actually actually played a, a virtual boy though I, I mean i've demoed it at the store but that was only for like a few minutes and it was many many years ago i believe it was at the super potato and then this is like the other playstation aisle that has vita psp ps2 ps1 let's take a look at some vita games and as you can see judging by the covers here it looks like it's a load of visual novels in the in the bigger box uh games that they had for the vita and again, a lot of empty space here. But that's just that's just the way it goes. That's the way the cookie crumbles. But nonetheless, let's see what we have. We got a, a PSP pouch. Actually, I was kind of tempted to pick that up as I need another one. But we have Soul Sacrifice for 300 yen. Farming Simulator for 1,200. Dead or Alive 5 for 2,800 yen. That's a great uh, port on the, on the PSP. 
And then we have Odin Spear for 1,200 yen. I believe that one has English language uh, options. And then there's Murumasa for 2,400 yen. That's amazing artwork there. And what do we have here? Some Gundam Seed? Not really sure what that was. And then a visual novel here for 600 yen. And we have Winning Post 8. If you got one of those horse racing games, you know you've made it. We have Burning Blood, One Piece. This one is a bit tempting. It is a fighting game from my understanding, but I think I would like to try that one out. And then here we go with our PS2 titles. This is maybe like the, the biggest, uh, chunkiest section that they had, but look at this racing wheel, 500 yen. And then we have a PS2 Slim coming in at 14,800 uh, 14, yen. But here we have a uh, Battle Coliseum. We have Street Fighter EX3 for 500 yen and then more fighting games for the PlayStation 2. It's just fully loaded. Here we have the King of Fighters Neo Wave coming in at 1,900 yen. Capcom vs. SNK 2 for 900 yen. Uh, what else do we have? SBC Chaos for 3,600. And then Arcana Heart for 500 yen. That's super low price. And then we have Inuyasha. I used to love watching this uh, on Toonami way, way back. That, that, that series has some pretty good music too. But here we have Res for 800 yen and then Metal Slug 5 coming in at 1,700 yen. But I would, I, I would recommend the anthology because it's all on one disc unless you like to have them all separate. But space is definitely an issue for me. And then here we have Rockman 8 and then we have Power Battles for 6,900 yen. I actually have that. And then there's Mad World. Now for Power Battles, that's actually a part of the Mega Man collection on PS2, GameCube, and Xbox in the West. And I think that's a way, way better value. But I think they could be games that you have to unlock, which is kind of a pain. But just kind of combing over the PlayStation 2 titles, and like I said, I think this was the definitely one of the larger sections that they had in the store. But not a bad selection so far. I mean, you know, they don't have like loads and loads of games, but I think if you come here, you'll you'll definitely walk away with one or two titles. But we have Dark uh, Chronicle there for 550, Spy Hunter for 7,900 yen. This is definitely a pricier one in Japan. I wonder why too. And then there's Panzer Dragoon for 3,800 yen. A little, t and then Vitamin X. I've been seeing a lot of vitamin Z, but now there's vitamin X, or I guess there always was, but here's the Namco fight stick. I have, I have this, but mine has like the soul edge, uh, artwork on there. And then PS one, this is where we'll end things. And again, a smaller section, but this thing I think has a, I think it's a, a bit loaded too. We got some Rockman titles down below and mind you, I didn't actually look at the entire section just because I had other priorities and then, you know, time is, uh, time is always the, the enemy. I guess, well, maybe not always, but we have a Metal Gear Solid for 2,200 yen. This is the vanilla release. Then we have Metal Slug X for 1,800 yen. And then we have Lunar for 2,100 yen. Not really sure what this is, but it is a fighting game. And one that I'm not really familiar with, but it is Konami. Then we have Lattice, Lattice something. And then Raiden Project, this is the, the PlayStation, the best hits. Tenchu for 800 yen. And I'm not really sure what this could be, but it's um, Mahjong or some kind of tabletop game. We have Marvel vs. Capcom. I used to own that. That's not a, too bad of a port. Uh, I'm not really sure what this is, but it is Data East. And it looks like it's a puzzle game. We have Pocket Fighter. This is a great game. And I do like the cover. Definitely a lot more fun than the Saturn one. But we have Horned Owl for 1,200 yen. It's been a minute since I've seen that one. And then we have Pitfall 3D. Haven't played that one. But then we have Hermie Hopperhead for 2,000 yen. What else do we have here? We have Director's Cut for 1,100. And then they have the DualShock version, version of Director's Cut coming in at 1,500 yen. And then what is this? Uh, uh, some kind of uh, um, some kind of game. And then we have uh, Tomb Raider Chronicles, Part Five. Five game, five Tomb Raider games on the PS One. And then we have some Tatsunoko looking fighting game here. This one could be good. And then we have Part Three, and then we'll pull out uh, the Last Revelation. I'm currently playing through Part Two, and let me tell you, 
I am having a blast. I never played part two way in the back in the day. I only played through part one on the Sega Saturn, but part two is actually pretty fun. Here we have a, a role playing game. What else do we have here? Speed King. Now this one seems kind of similar to Wipeout, but I have not played that one myself. And then we have JoJo's Bizarre Adventure for 1,600 yen. I used to own this and it's not too bad on the PS1. And then we have Burning Fist, 120% something. Another fighting game, kind of a, an oddball one. And then just some more, more games. And that's what we like to see. We got a few SNK games. I'll pull a few of those out here in a sec. But yeah, what do we have? Spiral. Now this one is a little bit uncommon. And that one's coming in at 1,800 yen. Same role-playing game there. And then we have EX Plus Alpha. I was recently playing through this, and that's a that's a pretty fun game. Then we have Zero Three for 900 yen. And then up above we have the Samurai Spirits Collection, and this contains Part One and Part Two. But guys, that's gonna be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I felt this place had some pretty good selection of titles and there's definitely more to come. So stay tuned. Ciao.